guys, welcome to my channel. I'm going to show you how to do this makeup look right here. Of course, since I'm wearing it right now. Um, it is a half cut crease, and if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe and comment. If you're interested in how to get this look, keep watching. First thing we're gonna do is primer eyes. I'm using the Urban Decay Primer Potion, and I'm just gonna rub that in with my fingers. And then I'm just going to set it with some Kat Von D powder. Okay, now the fun stuff. So I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics Burgundy palette for this. First I'm using the color Beach, which is a light brown color on a fluffy brush, and I'm just going to go in my crease right here. And you're going to want to bring it really close to the inner corner of your eye. And just kind of blend it with the same brush with no product left on it, just in a back and forth motion. Next I'm using the color Penny, which is kind of a burnt orange kind of color. And I'm using the same brush and I'm just going to go straight over that to create an even better transition. You're going to want to go back and forth a lot so it blends out really well. Next we're going to use the color burgundy, which is just a red color, and do the exact same thing. What this is doing is creating a transition and kind of an ombre effect. At the top, it's really harsh, so you're going to want to blend that out a bit. Then I'm going to take the red again and just put some right on out of the of the eye. Now I'm going to take almond and burgundy mixed together and almond is just a brown color. I'm going to mix them together and put it on my outer corner. Again, right here and right down there. And you're going to want more of the brown color while you're doing this part. I'm going to mix those two same colors again and I'm going to put it under my eye. This time we're going to want more red in the color. I'm using a different brush but it is still a fluffy brush. Then I'm going to take the burnt orange color that I used before and apply it over top to just blend it out a bit. And if you're noticing any harsh lines, just blend. It'll fix everything. If at this point you're really liking how blended your eyeshadow looks, start to cut the crease. And this is just a half cut crease, so it's a little bit simpler. So I'm going to be using my concealer to cut it. That sounds a little violent. And I'm going to use a definer brush, the Real Techniques definer brush. With this cut crease, we're going to go above your actual crease. But to start, just do your actual crease and go about halfway of your eye. Now that we got that, we're going to go a little above, just go a little bit at a time. If you raise your eyebrows up, it's a little easier to get. At this point, you don't need to worry about this harsh line. We're gonna clean that up afterwards. I'm just gonna fix this up a bit. And that is how I want it. Looks so crazy right now. Don't worry, we're gonna fix it. It's gonna be good, I promise. Now that we've done that, we're gonna take a flat brush and we're gonna go into a white color. I'm using the eyeshadow by Annabelle. We're just gonna pack that over top of the concealer we just did. And you're gonna wanna pack a lot on especially to the inner corner. You're gonna want a lot. Raising your eyebrows and looking down at a mirror helps. Now, going back into the red, I'm going to just right on the crease. Add a bit, oops, don't mess it up. So I'm just adding a little bit there, and then I'm going to blend it. That's just going to create a more defined line. Now I'm going to mix the first two transition shades that I use, Beach and Penny. 
I'm gonna put them right here to start blending. It'll help also if you pat a little bit of it on also. Then we're gonna go with the red again and go over top. If you need to, add a little bit more white to the corner. So now all the eyeshadow is done, so we're gonna apply some mascara and false lashes and then the look will be completed. I'm going to be using Maybelline the Falsy Drama Mascara. This is a really heavy mascara, so you're gonna wanna use a spoolie just to just make it a little bit better. And now I'm gonna put on some false lashes. I am using the Ardell 120 Demis. And I'm going to do that off camera. And that is the finished look. I hope you guys liked this look. It's pretty, huh? Of course I'm gonna say it's pretty, I just did it. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff, and follow all of my other social media. You can find all the links in the description, and hopefully I see you next time. Bye! Ooh, damn. My bad girl. Look how good that looks. I just can't get over it, man.